that work for them too? I love that. I love that, George. Isn't that great? So one thing you should know about me is that any meeting that I facilitate ends on time, and we will be done. I will, as soon as we will. Really, okay. Sorry. Okay, is this better? Yeah. Better, okay, thanks. So we will be done by 9 p.m., which means uh, the sooner we get started, the better. 27 minutes. So what we want to do is to spend the last chunk of this uh, giving you folks the opportunity to answer questions that came directly from the audience here tonight. Uh, and we received a number of questions. Several questions, in fact, that we received mirrored questions that we've already asked. And so specifically, uh, Measure E, did you support? And I think a number of you, in fact, uh, made statements about that. Police versus sheriff, uh, ADUs, pensions, and reducing costs. There were questions from the audience on that, and we also asked questions regarding that. We ha also have a series of questions here that were absolutely unique that didn't show up at all. And so we want to give you folks uh, a chance to start with those. And I believe, Michael, you'll be the first to have the opportunity on this one. Um, and this, the subject area for this one is Malaga Cove, and the question is, how do we improve parking and also the diversity of businesses to increase both revenues and enhance enjoyment? I'm assuming this re refers to the plaza area. Okay, please, Michael, do you have a? I'm a little up to speed on this. I think that the, the city and a third party conducted a study. Um, I'm not sure how far that study actually went. Uh, I think there's a, there's a balance between trying to re retain the character uh, and the magic of what is one of the most beautiful locations in our city and picturesque, uh, and also trying to support businesses and income and, uh, and our tax base. Uh, so I, I'd be open to looking at it, although I'm, I'm very concerned about preserving the character and being careful about how we affect it. Great, thank you. Betty Lynn? I'm seeing a lot of historical pictures, and that's always something that's been really prominent that shows up. Um, I think to be able to have diversity in the businesses in the in Malaga Cove Plaza, first we have to really support our businesses. <clears throat> They've come and gone, and you know the restaurants are not doing that well. And I, I know that when I hold any of my meetings over there, there's a lot of space. There's hardly ever a line. So if you want to encourage businesses to come and stay here and invest in our city, and we have to pay, we have to we have to pay attention to them. We have to go there. We have to tell our friends about it. Um, as far as the parking is concerned, I know the traffic engineer has tried to shift the parking the configuration a couple of times. And the fact is there's not enough space. So we've talked about maybe doing an underground parking garage, but that probably doesn't work very well. <laughs> <laughs> probably wouldn't be able to pay for it. Um, but I would encourage, since might be able to walk there, since we have nice parklands and trails and stuff, walk there. We walk there for um, breakfast sometimes, and it's actually pretty fun. Cool. Thank you so much. David. I think we need to take a step backward at some point in time, and I don't think it's immediate because we don't have the resources to do so, but take a, a bigger look at that whole uh, Malaga Cove area, and I know there's a lot of concern about traffic and the traffic circle in there, and how can we best utilize that space before we jump to any uh, Band-Aid type of a situation to improve parking. I think subterranean parking could be an answer, but it would have to be incorporated in some other larger uh, endeavor that would help build uh, retail and uh, maybe help some of the uh, needs uh, that we have in the city bring restaurants in and so forth but it, we need to take stand back and have a professional group take a hard look at that area on how best to use it great thank you Kevin so I sit on the traffic safety committee and one we've taken a piece of this and it's the parking and there are a lot of a lot of moving parts to the parking some businesses only require 30 minutes and other businesses require three hours and if you drive through there there's 20 minute parking there's two hour parking people s jump in the 30 minute thing and then wait till the 30 minutes is over and then look for a two hour parking um, and so there's a lot of moving parts uh, the, uh, the city did a study and there's a parking lot across the street from City Hall that is usually pretty open, but people don't want to cross the street because it's dangerous. It's you got five intersections, so it's it's a work in progress. Uh, working with the city engineer, actually, our last meeting we had a field trip and we actually did it in the parking lot and walked around and looked at the spaces. So um, I can tell you the parking piece is a work in progress. Great, thank you, Victoria. 
The only observation I have about this one is um, a couple months ago, maybe two, three months ago, there was a presentation um, to the city council about a group that had done some sort of study, I think, talking about all of these things, kind of, you know, improving the business. But to do that, you've got to improve the parking. I, you know, I think in my mind, I kind of think of Malaga Cove Plaza from a long range planning perspective, Malaga Cove Plaza, which way am I pointing that way? And, uh, and then this um, kind of city hall complex, I mean, I think in the end, we're gonna probably have to look at that as one, probably incorporate the parking, make it safer for people to cross. You do take your life in your own hands a little bit. Um, you know, obviously there's no money for a lot of um, a lot of that stuff. So in the long haul, we'll probably have to look at some sort of kind of public-private partnership, um, and that'll be a lot of community input because that. And you're talking about kind of creating a whole civic center area, and you know that's a big that's a big project, and we have no money. Okay, thanks, Jennifer. Um, Malaga Cove Plaza is an interesting area because the parking lot is actually owned by the city, but the buildings are owned by a number of different uh, owners. So what we can do as a city is make the parking a little more hospitable to different types of businesses. And as Kevin mentioned, the Traffic Safety Committee is working on that right now. But we can't really force those um, those landowners to bring in different tenants when they're perfectly happy with the tenants that they have. Uh, what we can do is perhaps have a dialogue with some of those uh, landowners to see if there's a potential for some type of different mix of tenants, moving certain tenants upstairs, but I, I believe we've engaged in those dialogue, th that type of dialogue in the past and it hasn't really gone anywhere. Um, what I would see in terms of a better utilization of that area are maybe some temporary things. Maybe we bring in a farmer's market on the weekend. Um, something like that that would drive people there but wouldn't impact the current owners and uh, perhaps for a two-hour temporary time frame we could adjust the parking. Great. Thank you very much. 